Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with meteorologist Mike Hurd. Once the snow comes to an end, get ready for another shot of some extremely cold air starting to move into Montana from north to south Friday evening into Saturday and by Sunday and Monday and Tuesday morning. Uh, oh, I'm telling you, temperatures are going to be 15 to 35 below zero. But the good news is that will be kicked out of the area sometime late next week. But still, we got some harsh winter weather still to play out. High pressure across Alaska is sending the polar jet stream way to the north and it's dropping a lot of cold Arctic air to the south, dropping into Montana. And this low that's on the coast is sending up moisture from the south and west. All that's overrunning each other is coming together, clashing over Montana. That's been producing day after day after day of snow. Still some winter storm warnings out for the Absorca Beartooth Wilderness areas, the crazy mountains through 11 p.m. this evening. Avalanche concerns are ongoing for Madison Gallatin Park counties inside Yellowstone National Park and eastern Idaho. And now these winter weather advisories stretch from eastern Washington through the Idaho Panhandle into west central, southwest, south central Montana this evening into early tomorrow morning and there will be some difficult wintry travel setting up and ongoing flood warnings for the Ennis area from an ice jam that is sending water over 287 and an ice jam near Logan on the Gallatin River. There's a flood warning out for that as well. And again, we're keeping a very close eye on potential ice jam flooding and development here near Deer Lodge on the Clark Fork River as that river level has gone up to its action stage over the last 24 hours. So we're picking up a little bit of snow now that could taper into the overnight, <clears throat> excuse me, into early tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, we start to pick up these hit and miss rogue bands of off and on snow pushing through the area. So there's still a little bit of snow potential over the next 24 to 48 hours, but some partial clearing will actually bring some colder overnight lows by the end of the week into the weekend. And again, very hit and miss. So the strong, widespread, vigorous snow banding in the area should begin to taper. So how much more snow could we see? Most valleys an inch or less, but maybe some could pick up around one to two, two to four inches. And that includes Bozeman and West Yellowstone. Butte, maybe one to two more inches of snow possible over the next couple of days. So temperatures right now are in the single digits to the north. Even down here in Belgrade, Dillon at seven degrees right now. 32 right now in West Yellowstone, 14 in Butte. So the numbers are highly varied across our region. The numbers tonight should stay in the plus range with mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies, a chance for a little bit of off and on snow and some patchy fog. And tomorrow we try and warm up in the low to mid 30s for most. A slight chance for some snow and minor accumulation still possible throughout the day for tomorrow. As you move into the rest of the forecast this evening, I've got single digits teens and 20s in here. Slight chance for some snow with minor accumulations, especially along the state line. And tomorrow, mostly cloudy, 30s for highs. That's a bit better. That's still below average, but still a little bit better. But there will be some off and on snow showers trying to develop in the afternoon. So as you look at the extended forecast, just ignore it. it. It will get better eventually, but single digits teens and 20s below zero are possible for the Bozeman area and only teens for daytime highs. Slowly trying to climb out of that by Wednesday of next week. Butte teens, 20s and 30s below zero are possible late weekend into early next week. Single digit highs again, a huge drop on temperatures coming up by the end of the weekend early next week. Dylan, your extended forecast starts off in 30s tomorrow but slipping into the teens for highs, teens below zero for lows early next week. And again, there could be a few more snow showers for your Thursday and West Yellowstone low 30s tomorrow, but only in the 20s will follow you into the weekend and anywhere between about five to 25 to 30 below zero it just depends on cloud cover or the lack thereof. So bitterly cold for the first half of next week. You know what? You just made Caitlin's day. <laughs> I made the naughty list, week. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick Petrucioni is in with our sports. And finally, our lead, Twin Bridges. It's on. Yeah, we need to find out who's going to the state term. It's the Western Sea Challenge game. Highlights coming up next.